it's time for a beer commercial with some Filipino celebrities. And this little guy didn't mean for his feet to smell. We're coming back. Your feet dry and fresh with BioFresh antimicrobial socks. Keep them fresh with BioFresh. When it comes to the Philippines, it is the land of islands, over 7,100. He would think that when it comes to beautiful beaches, that God put them all here. And to top it off, he put the friendliest people you'll find here to live on them. What is your name? Where did you come from? On November 8th, the number of those beautiful islands and the faces who called them home dwindled. One of the two beaches I've had the good fortune to visit was hit by Typhoon Yolanda. Its international name, Haiyan, the most powerful cyclone to make landfall in the history of the world. Still breaking the effects of the strongest landfalling tropical cyclone recorded in world history. You're going to hear us saying that a lot because this has just been something in terms of the wind speeds getting up to that 190 mile per hour range. We haven't seen that in 33 years. It is ripping through the Philippines as we speak. Guyan took it first, then Leyte Island, and the town of Tacloban, Pahal Island, and towns like Kalibo, and eventually Haiyan visited Boracay Island. These are shots I took in 2008, one of the top 10 best white sandy beaches in the world. Its well-known sand castles were the works of this young man right here. We hope he's well. Boracay sunsets as you look west toward Vietnam will leave you speechless. Typhoon Haiyan moved onward, striking the northern limits of Palawan, then out to sea. Haiyan went into the night, heading for Vietnam and China. Not a lot of pictures have come out of Boracay. Those friendliest people you'll find will bring it back and will wait. most beautiful spot on earth it's to the off gourd resort on Samal island and a boat ride from the city of davao is how you get there and what could be a throwback to tv's let's make a deal cebu pacific has brought fun to its flights our flight crew is doing a giveaway provided you have what they're looking for now for our last item for the guys on board who can show me or race for me Congratulations, sir. Congratulations to all the winners for the From the Davao City Airport, it's a 25-minute ride to the board to catch our boat to the resort. Davao is a city of rich culture with a mindset to grow. It's no 
no secret that agriculture is big here. Check the label on your fresh bananas in those fruit cups. Waiting for the boat is done in this little store combination soda shop and lunch counter where you'll find some familiar soft drinks. Right, very nice. <laughs> Louis describes what's available for lunch. This is beef steak. Okay. Uh -huh. This is uh, ano ta, ano ta This is um, also uh, pork. Pork? Yeah, uh, they call it here ginamay. Okay. I'm, I got, I'm not familiar with the Tagalog uh, uh, term for that. What would this be up here? Uh, this is... Some, uh, some type of stir fry? Yeah, this is like uh, in Manila, this is called pinakbit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is adobo. Okay. Pork adobo. Pork adobo. Uh-huh. Uh, and this is fried chicken. Chicken? Bopis. Bopis. What, what's that? Bopis. Bopis. What is that? This is like the uh, the ear of the pork. The ear, ear. Of, ear of the pig? Yeah, of the pig. Okay. Uh-huh. What would this little dish here be? This is a uh, bitter gourd with egg. Okay. Uh -huh. And then this is um, this is also adobo, but uh, this uh, the main ingredients are the the uh, intestines or liver of the pork. Okay. Pork uh, liver. Yeah, pork liver. This All is right. uh, also pork liver. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and this is a menudo. What's that? Uh, it looks good. Yeah, combination of uh, um, potato. Uh, carrot and pork. Okay. Mm -hmm. The food is homemade and it's a break from the fast food chains. Meanwhile, Randy and I scout around a little bit and see a familiar brand of car a long way from home. This is a look at an old Filipino city, thriving with life everywhere you look. There are automotive shops and mostly motorcycle shops to take care of the basic way of getting around for many here. Retail options, the shopping centers, are plentiful in Davao. With the new Abriza Mall, a great place to shop and eat. And if you're lucky, you can catch some local school kids trying out their dancing skills. Vato, vato, gentleman. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a vato, vato, gentleman. The boat transfer provided by the Hofgori Resort arrives after lunch and it's about an hour to Samal Island. For Randy, he's wondering just what lies ahead. We've been telling him for weeks about something he's never seen before. The crew handles the maneuvers at the Hofgori Boathouse with true professionalism. Vacation within a vacation has begun.
at Hoff Gori. This is our third year here, and this is kind of like paradise. It's really pretty. It's beautiful. It's like a botanical garden. We have the yellow hut. It's not really like a hut. It's a structure it's it's with bamboo brown. on the outside to make it look like it's a hut. It's a brown one. It, all right, it's the brown one. Yeah. We had the green, green one last year. Right that there. One. Yeah, that one. And this one's called the leaning yeah. hut. It's uh -huh. made to look like it's leaning. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just something. Uh, I the tables out there. The table there is probably somebody has requested to have dinner tonight mm -hmm. outside, which, by the way, you can have dinner anywhere you request. Uh -huh. So that is the guest house. Um, we have a group that came over with us, so that would be a perfect place for them to uh, eat at. A large, it's oh, good for anybody, open for anybody, but it's great for a uh, large guest or uh, work convention or work retreat. There's a boy. There's a boy in there. There's a bunny rabbit. It's a lazy bunny rabbit. It's hot. It's humid. That bunny rabbit's taking a rest. What are you doing, Bunbun? What are you doing, Bunbun? And this is the tiki bar. You can have anything to drink there. Pretty neat new. Uh, walked on a hot summer day because it's very, very uh, kind of like overcast today. So it's not really hot. There's another place where you can have dinner. Kind of like a little hut on top of a rock outcropping. You get a good view. Dinner or breakfast or lunch. Yes. Come on up. This is a great place to have dinner. Go, go real deep with the zoom. Back over there would be Davao. And um, got a good sunset uh, coming up in a few hours. What makes Hoff Gori a fantastic beach resort is everything. The food is, not one word describes it, awesome, fantastic, delicious, phenomenal. Hoff Gori owner Miss Jean April set out with her husband years ago to make a hillside look and feel like the best oasis away from everything a person would want to get away from. Miss April has hired the finest people to carry out the mission of the resort. Guests are assigned a personal butler and Ging Ging will be just a bell ring away during our stay. And the best thing about eating here, your table can be set anywhere on the grounds. Perhaps looking at the food, your meal's presentation, and tasting it is evidence that all who work here are on the same page. And Randy is surely amazed. The next morning, the smell of fresh coffee, hot pancakes and eggs, fresh rice and buttered toast, and smiles set the day off to a good start. Breakfast there. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All you can do is smile for the camera. Because <laughs> no matter what, you're gonna get you're gonna get shot with the camera. <laughs> Uh, the duck pond. So peaceful and cute to watch nature. Quiet and tranquil. Leave it to the goose who calls out if anything seems wrong. Something is wrong. A male duck with a teenaged mind. The champ on the hill is alone on the hill. And another day we got away. From ducks to the beach. Time for some passes of the football and a little man show here and there. <laughs> And 
and some of us are just happy to relax with the radio by the beach. They always say that it's a fine place to stay if there are real flowers on the table. Guess what? Flowers, they grow here. Every tropical flower you can imagine. And Ging Ging makes the arrangements. Within a few minutes, we watched Ging Ging take what was growing out there and transform it wow. into a beautiful work of art. Jonathan, our butler of three years ago, <laughs> examines the results. Gory offers many activities, island hopping and lunch on another island to name two, and Randy's motorcycle ride along the road that runs along the ridge line behind the resort. Randy had a tour guide that actually let him do some of the driving as well. A bat cave and waterfall were the stops on this outing. Four days at Hofgory, a favorite spot for Louie and myself, and a first for Randy. To make friends, more friends to act crazy and have fun. To have fun and act crazy like a tourist. Not the father gentleman. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. When we come back, one of Manila's best clubs is closing down after 10 years on our last Saturday night here, and we're there. Plus, bring a tissue box. We're leaving where we came in. We're going back to the Manila airport for the last time. You won't want to miss this. We're coming back.